Okay, we're doing a right angle relative motion question. So maybe you want to pause it so you can copy out the question here. There's a 20 meter wide river that flows directly east at 2 meters per second. You want to swim to the north shore from the south in 15 seconds. What should your velocity in the water be? So let me draw a picture based on this description here. We have a river that flows east. We're on the south shore. We want to go to the north shore. It's 20 meters across. And we want to get there in 15 seconds. The river is flowing east at 2 meters per second. So what we know is that in order to get straight across there in 15 seconds, I am looking at, let's say the, the three objects we have here are the ground, G is for ground, S is for the swimmer, and W is the water. For the person to get across there in 20 meters, we're looking at the swimmer with respect to the ground. And the displacement of the swimmer with respect to the ground is 20 meters north. The time is <clears throat> Time is 15 seconds. So the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the ground is 20 over 15 meters per second north. That's four thirds. So that makes that 1.33 meters per second north. That's the velocity of the person with respect to the ground. Now, when we're moving through a medium, the velocity of the person, the swimmer with respect to the ground, will be equal to the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. The velocity of the swimmer with respect to the ground is known. So is the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. We've got to determine the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water. So the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the ground is 1.33 meters per second north. This we don't know. And the velocity of the water with respect to the ground is 2 meters per second east. Because these are perpendicular from each other, we can't simply use arithmetic. However, we have the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water is 1.33 meters per second north minus 2 meters per second east. And let's say we didn't know how to subtract vectors, but we do know how to add them. To subtract this vector, I'm going to add the opposite vector. So I need 1.33 meters per second north plus 2 meters per second west. Adding a vector west is the same as subtracting a vector east. So I'm going to draw a picture. 1.33 meters per second north. And I'm going to add to that 2 meters per second west. This is my resultant. Now remember, the result of adding those is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water.
So we always start out the velocity of one object with respect to another. So this is our swimmer with respect to the ground is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. You know you've set up this equation right if it starts with s and ends with g and the addition of these vectors start with s and end with g and furthermore they link up so as we're adding them this ends in west this starts in west. Okay so to put this together we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. The magnitude here is going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 1.33 squared. So our square root is 2.4. The angle that we have here, let's call that theta, the tan of theta is 2 over 1.33. So that makes theta the inverse tan, or arctan, of 2 over 1.33. So that's 56 degrees, 56.4 degrees. So what that means is to answer our question, a 20 meter wide river flows east at 2 meters per second and we want to swim to the north shore from the south shore in 15 seconds. What should your velocity in the water be? Our velocity in the water should be 2.4 meters per second and here we're going north but rotating 56.4 degrees west. So the answer is the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water should be 2.4 meters per second north and then we rotate 56.4 degrees to the west. And that should make sense to you because we have to compensate for the fact that the river is going east. The river is flowing east, so the river is going this way. We're in the river, heading, swimming that way, while the river goes this way. And so our actual motion just ends up being forward.